Hello kids, Teacher Ellen here. Today I will have a recap about what we are going to write for our middle bit. I talked to you last week about the things we need to remember when we write our middle bit. Am I right? So what writing process are we going to use in writing the middle bit of the story? So do not forget, we need to follow these processes for your writing, drafting, revising, proofreading, and editing. Now, what to write in the middle bit? We need to introduce the conflict or the problem. Again, a story with no conflict or problem can be rather dull. Understand the concept of conflict in a story by revisiting some of your favorite books if you don't have any idea how to write the middle bit. Know when the conflict arises and create one of your own story. You can even introduce new character to shake up things. Also, do not forget to introduce the turning point. The turning point is usually in the middle of the story and helps to make a story more interesting. It can be a eureka moment, a time where a character discovers a hidden superpower, or a surprise that throws the whole story into a spin. Think of something that the reader would least expect. It doesn't always have to make sense, kids. This is your time to unleash your imagination. Well, right now, I will show you my story map. Look, I draw new characters in the middle bit of my story map. I thought about adding new characters to spice things up. I showed a problem right here showing that Mr. Bunny Man is in trouble. If you can still remember the beginning part of the story that I wrote, let me read it with you again. In a big noisy city called Neverland, there is a superhero named Mr. Bunny Man. His hair is like a torchlight in the sky. He is strong and powerful. He carries a strong shield to protect him from danger. The egg shape of his eyes helped him see in the dark. With his big ears, he could hear a whisper from a mile away. Neverland is a place full of bad people. It was tall, it has tall buildings, and many people walking from different directions. Mr. Bunny Man always fly around the city to make sure everyone is safe from the bad guys. One sunny afternoon, he heard a loud cry. Help! Help! Mr. Bunny Man flew so fast and heading to the noise to help. Now look kids, again, at the beginning part of the story, I made sure that I introduced the setting of the story. Those that are written in red, and I also made sure that I introduced the main character, how he looks like, what's his personality, and what kind of powers is he having, because this is this story is a superhero story. And then I also introduced a little bit of a problem faced by the character, but I did not mention all of the problem right here, just to give a little enticement. Now, let's go to the middle bit. So as you can see, there are only two things that we need to include in our middle bit of the story. What are those? The problem and the turning point. Have you seen how I use sentence variety in my middle bit? Let me talk about it this later. Now this is my middle bit. From here, I introduce the problem faced by the character and the, and the turning point of the story. I will read it for you. Mr. Bannerman went inside an abandoned building. It was dark and disgusting on the top floor of the building. 
he smashed the only door he could find on that floor. It was a red door. He found next to the window a woman crying for help. She was kidnapped by the bad guys. Mr. Bunny Man helped her out of the building safely. But when Mr. Bunny Man looked back, he saw standing behind him was Mr. Bad Guy. Mr. Bad Guy is an evil person, but very powerful. He wants to rule the world. He used evil powers to hypnotize people. He used his ultra hypo blast over Mr. Bunny Man. Mr. Bunny Man lost his consciousness. But Miss Ladybug, the woman rescued by Mr. Bunny Man, took him to Planet Zaga. Mr. Bunny Man was given more power by the King Zaga and became even more powerful this time. He is now ready to face Mr. Bad Guy again. Now look. The one that I encircled here, the part of the, the middle bit that I encircled here, talks about the problem my character was able to face. Now look here, the purple circle right here is actually describing the turning point of the story. This part of the story actually is the part or the surprise surprise part of the story because I want to I want to um, show to the readers that this is the part of the story where you know a surprise part and they would least expect that this will happen to Mr. Bannerman or my character or my main character again have you seen how I use the sentence variety in my middle bit? I also observe the, 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 the tenses of the verb, or the correct tenses of the verb. Now look here. This is an example of a simple sentence. My uh, Mr. Body Man went inside an abandoned building. And look here, another form of sentence you can find. And it is being connected by a connective and. So this is an example, a very good example of a compound sentence. He smashed the only door he could find out on that floor. It was a red door. And that this is an example. This sentence is an example of a complex sentence. But when Mr. Bunny Man looked back, he saw standing behind him was Mr. Bad Guy. So as you can see, it is very important to use different variety of sentences when you start composing your middle bit. And of course, do not forget to use the right tense of the verb. Look. Went, smashed, was kidnapped, help. Those are actually in the past tense of the verb. Because these, um, the, the story itself is actually, was actually a story that happened in the past. So I tend to use the past tense of the verb. Now kids, it's your turn to write your own draft for your middle bit. Remember, unleash your imagination and be creative this time. Can't wait to see your draft for your middle bit. Happy writing, kiddos, and see you later.